Okay, uh, it's time for Top 5. This is where Dave and I will list off our top five films of a certain genre or by a certain actor or actress or whatever. So this week's topic is World War II movies. Uh, straight in, at number five, I have got the classic with Clint Eastwood and Richard Burton, Where Eagles Dare. Classic film. Uh, I went for The Dirty Dozen. Oh, five. yeah. That didn't even occur to me. as a great film, that. Yeah, just one of those kind of more... More well, raucous films. Yeah, it's a bit more fun, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Always loved it as a kid. Classic. All right. Number four, I have got the classic Downfall. Hitler ah. in his bunker going mad. Everybody knows the famous meme. Do you know, that didn't even come to my head as I was doing this list. Mm. Absolute classic. Powerful film. Probably the best portrayal of, of Hitler on film, I think. Yeah. Shows what a the most accurate. crazy bad he was. What about, what about you, number four? Well, for number four, I went with um, The Longest Day. Oh, yeah. Cool. Um, Massive cast. Yeah, just the, the scale and It was scope like of everybody it, who know. didn't fight in World War Two in a movie about World War Two. <laughs> <laughs> it's got my favourite kind of opening sequence to a war movie for uh, for me. I think it's uh, really well done. Great music and that kind of build-up of all the different elements that are happening on the day, you know. Cool. Classic. All right, number three, I put Schindler's List. Not, Absolute classic. I mean, not everybody would would not rush to think of it as a World War Two movie, but it is. It is absolutely a World it War is. II movie. Yeah, and you know, with the um, for me, the, the Holocaust, the most tragic part of um, World War Two, really. And I just wanted to, you know, to put that one in there. I mean, you know, that whole debate about Holocaust movies, etc., is for another time, but. Yeah, that's why I did number three anyway. It's one of my favourite all-time films. It is a truly heartbreaking film and uh, a fantastic piece of cinema. Absolutely. I uh, went for Das Boot for number oh, three. Yeah. Um, is that about that guy who loses his boot in the, in the train? <laughs> Uh, obviously set on the submarine, German submarine during World War Wolfgang II. Wolfgang Peterson. Know, absolutely breathtaking film. I think it's um, it's one of those films that really captures the claustrophobia of I think being in such it's a situation. It's the ultimate you know. submarine movie, isn't it? There are it a is, few. Hunter of Red brilliant. October, K-19, Widowmaker. Probably earlier ones as well, but Das Boot is that's the, one the one that's, yeah. Okay, uh, number two, I got A Bridge Too Far, Richard Amber classic. Ah, yes. Gets slated a lot, yeah. Um, for some reason or another, people don't tend to resonate with it for whatever reason. But I always loved it. I always enjoyed it. Um, it's got some, again, uh, ensemble cast. You've got Michael Caine, Sean Connery. Um, you've got Anthony Hopkins plays a great role in that. Robert Redford, James Kahn's in there. I love I love all the little vignettes and stuff. And, you know, for me. And great set pieces. Oh, you yeah. Know, it's, a, it's one of them films that's. That bit where uh, Redford, Robert Redford with all his uh, Marines and they've got to get across the river in those uh, crappy little boats and he's, Hail Mary, full of grace. Hail Mary, <laughs> full of grace. It's just, yeah, brilliant, brilliant it's, filmmaking. It's great. Yeah. Great film. Okay, uh, so that was my number two. Um, what about you? Um, I went with uh, David Lean's uh, Bridge on the River Kwai. Oh, what a great film. Bit more of a kind of character piece as, as kind of a war movie but um, yeah it's different yeah, isn't it yeah really different Alec Guinness is great performance um, also covers really... that um, forced slavery of the POWs under the Japanese rule over there and true story true story and it's a really kind of it's, you know, obviously it's a kind of one of epic films from from back in the, those days and uh, just a really interesting kind of character study of a man that's just hard to pin down you know mm. it's not not good, not bad. What have Just I done? Lots of facets. Okay, and that leaves us with the top slot. Do you want to go first? Tell me your number one movie. So I, I debated this quite a lot because I love World War Two movies and I couldn't pin down... It was hard to pin down the five and then I eventually settled on Saving Private Ryan. You know, just... It's one of those films that speaks for itself, isn't it? That opening sequence is... That is warfare yeah. on film, really. It draws a lot of criticism, again, I think, because of the story in the middle. Some people just didn't get on with that for whatever reason people that usually you know are spielberg haters basically but i thought it was a great film i thought that was a good way to carry us from the d-day landings to you know the the battle at the end i mean everybody says that opening sequence on the beach is you know incredibly realistic which it is and it's harrowing to watch but i always found that battle in in the in the, um, in the town at the end 
later on. Wow. Yes, just incredibly intense. But as my number one movie, uh, uh, World War Two movie, I pick Come and See, which is you know that same intensity that I just spoke about in that scene. From it's like that from start to finish. It's Russian film, obviously. Uh, I know you haven't seen it yet. I keep uh, on yeah. at you to see it. But it's Which not, it, it's it's not it. an easy film to watch, though. You know, it's very harrowing. It's told through the eyes of a very young boy who becomes a partisan fighter with some of the um, forces uh, over uh, in the Russian quarter, and they go up against the Nazis. And it's just about his harrowing experiences over uh, a short period. And he goes from looking, you know, fresh-faced, smiling 12-year-old boy to looking like an old man by the end of the film. And he's only aged a few months, but... Oof, that it's jeez, yeah, it's a difficult film to watch, but it's for me that was the that was the best. Well, there we go, ten really great and very different World War Two movies. There, I think, yeah, uh, all worth a watch. All worth a watch if you haven't seen them, and um, if you think there's ones we've missed, do let us know in the comments yeah, below. Please let us know um, your favourites. That's it.